Hey guys, it's me Varun and I'm there and welcome to Get Curried. Well, today's recipe is one of my favorites. Well, this one is a recipe that I had picked up when I was in school. I learned this recipe from my school teacher. Well, all of you know by now that I had this strange habit of writing down recipes, even in notebooks. The back of my notebooks also had recipes written down. Well, this one is dedicated to my teacher, Mrs. Briganza. And the recipe is Pomfret Kaldim. Let's go. This curry of Kaldin, of course, while I'm making it with pomfret, you can substitute pomfret with any fish of your choice. Pomfret uh, can specially be substituted with prawn and that makes it a prawn Kaldin. If you want to make it vegetarian, by all means, you can add in potatoes, you can add in beans, carrots, peas and personalize it completely. Well, this recipe has roots in Portuguese, Portuguese cuisine, and this is known as pomfret caldino. Also, peixe amarino caril. So remember that. The basis of this curry is to make a yellow paste, and that paste is made with coconut. Now, this can be made two types or two ways. One is you make a small portion of the paste, and right towards the end, you add in coconut cream. This is something that I'm doing today. Now, this is one of the methods. The second method is to make a larger quantity of the yellow paste and extract milk out of it. Now, this milk forms the basis of the curry and you kind of reduce it. And that makes a wonderful pomfret kaldin curry. Let's head to the kitchen and check how to make the paste. To make this paste, the first thing that I'm going to use is, of course, freshly grated coconut. To this, let's add in some green chilies. And along with this, some tamarind, some coriander seeds, cumin seeds, and cloves of garlic, followed by some black peppercorn and a touch of sugar. Along with this, I'm also going to add in turmeric powder. And with the help of Goan vinegar, we're going to grind this into a smooth paste. Let's have a quick check. Okay, now that the chutney is done and ready, we need to extract coconut milk out of this. So all you do is pass this through a sieve. Once that is done, we grind it similarly, adding one cup of water each time and you grind it for a total of three times. So first time, one cup, second time, one cup and third time, the third cup. So that makes it three cups of water and three times ground paste. To this, let's start adding in water. Let's add in one cup at a time. Time to strain this entire mixture. Now this is the last batch of the extraction process. Let's press this nicely and try to extract every last drop of the coconut extract. With this, your coconut extract is done and ready. While the extract is ready, let's start marinating the fish. I'm going to add in the remaining amount of turmeric powder and along with this salt. Now the style of making this curry is very unusual. You're not going to begin with oil. You're going to begin with onions in a pot. Now that uh, gets a little squeezed, that gets a little squashed, along with a little bit of salt. Once that happens, you add in the oil and then light the flame. Now I'm using earthen pot to make this recipe and this one is specially sent to me from Kerala by this friend of mine and her name is Priya Deepak. So thank her for this. In the cold vessel, let's begin with sliced onions and to this I'm going to add in salt. Let's mash all this well. And once the onions release some moisture, we're going to add in oil. Now we light the flame and saute the onions till they are faintly translucent. Time to add in juliennes of ginger and along with this chopped tomatoes. 
stir this well. Once the tomatoes get cooked, we'll be adding in the coconut extract. Stir this well and pour this in. Stir this well and allow this to cook on medium to high flame for at least 7 to 8 minutes. Two, three things will happen. It'll start reducing, it'll start thickening, it'll start developing its flavor, which is very unique. Time to add in the fish and cook the fish till you get the most perfect tanness. And this curry goes amazingly well, not just with rice, but also with pao. Once the curry boils, let's add in some coconut cream, a quick stir. Once this is done, we quickly check for salt and add in the marinated pieces of fish. We stir this gently and allow the fish to poach for at least seven to eight minutes. With this, our pom frit kaldin recipe is done and ready. On that note, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to get curried. And let's thank my teacher, Mrs. Priganza, for this amazing recipe.